Dr. Eddie, her husband, I mustn't forget that. <laughs> because you will only be as happy as uh, the other one. <laughs> Dr. Kathy Howe, Deputy Superintendent of, N of Curriculum and Instruction. I have not read that. <laughs> Ms. Stacy Stepney, Director of Special Program and Electives. That's a good one. Rhonda Wells, Coordinator of World Languages, DeKalb County Schools. And uh, a very dear friend and colleague, Uwe Neuhaus, German teacher at the Chamberlain High School. Also with us tonight, Petra Reuter, German language advisor from the German Central Agency for Schools Abroad. Petra, that's your one. John Valentine, he's the Program Manager for Languages and Global Initiatives at the Georgia Department of Education. John, <laughs> and last, and certainly not least, our keynote speaker for tonight, uh, Mr. Wayne Rees of Rees and Associates. Wayne, <laughs> without any further ado, I turn the phone, the microphone over to Alfred Schlicht, Consul of the Federal Republic of Germany. <coughs> Thank you, Wolfgang, for introducing us. And I'm very much impressed how many high-ranking personalities are here. More and more uh, high-ranking personalities than students, I think. <laughs> we feel honored, uh, and we are very happy that uh, the German language has so much importance in Georgia. Nevertheless, I start in German. Liebe DSD-Absolventen, zuerst einen herzlichen Glückwunsch. Es ist eine besondere Leistung und ein großer Erfolg, die Prüfung zum deutschen Sprachdiplom zu bestehen. Ihr habt zwar sehr gute Lehrer, aber letztendlich ist es doch euer eigener und persönlicher Erfolg. Eigentlich sollte das alles heute Abend ja in deutscher Sprache stattfinden. Associates is a public affairs law firm specializing in public policy, telecommunications, transportation, insurance, highway safety and I think whatever else you can bring to it. Um, Mr. Reese chairs the German CEO Roundtable. This is a forum for communication and strategic planning for German companies engaged in Georgia and throughout the Southeast. He also serves as lead advisor to the Georgia International Workforce Development Initiative, a Georgia Department of Education initiative connecting global educational programs like these directly to the needs of international employers. As both a heritage speaker of German and specialist in Germany-Georgia business collaboration, Mr. Reese will speak to the singular strategic advantage that advanced proficiency in German brings to professions in our state and region. Mr. Reese. Can you hear me if I stand here? And can you see me if I stand here? <laughs> um, you know, I have to tell you that I am probably, if not the biggest supporter you have, one of the biggest supporters that you have in the state of Georgia. I weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> um, my hat is off to all of you German students. My hat is off to your teacher, who has now been doing this for a number of years here. And as John Valentine told you, I have the distinct honor and privilege to coordinate a German CEO roundtable. And this is made up of the CEOs of these companies that Dr. Schlick mentioned. We have the CEO of Porsche, Volkswagen, BMW. You think of a German company that is in this region of the country, and those CEOs come to these roundtable meetings. Our discussions with them have become more and more important as time has gone on. And the reason is that, and I don't think Superintendent Atkinson will disagree with me here, for the past five years or so, our economies have gotten much more strained. And economic development has become more and more important. So we are continually looking to see what is it that we can do differently to improve our economy. Allowing Petra to move to Atlanta to support our program throughout the state of Georgia. Um, we're very excited. This is only the second year that this program has been offered in the state of Georgia, this, this DSD, this high-level 
German exam. The, the thought with this was the superintendent's idea, Dr. Bards, wants to create programs, wants to create educational programs where students can see the actual relevance on the other end. And we said this is a wonderful program. We know that students that take this test will have a level of proficiency that is meaningful. What we're learning through um, our partners like Mr. Reese and through others in the state of Georgia, just how meaningful this is. Just to give you a couple very, very tangible pieces for this. These students now speak German at a level that if they so chose, they could go to university in Germany. That's how good their German is. Now, for those of you that know anything about the European system, how much does it cost to go to college in Europe? Zero. These students can get their master's degrees. They can get their PhDs in Germany because only because their language level was this good. They're being specifically selected for high level internships through businesses that want to do more business in the Southeast only because they have this language ability. So uh, one more time, congratulations to these students. <laughs> that brought this test, that brought this entire program to the state of Georgia. So we'd like to say thank you to Petra. Thank you, John. I can't, really can't tell you how thrilled I am to see you all here tonight and to have you here. Especially, thank you so much, Wayne Reese, for this wonderful speech. Really telling the students what challenge lies before them. Thank you, Dr. Atkins, that you that you're here. Your husband as well, Rhonda. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm really grateful, and I'm so thrilled. I just came home um, this morning from a very important conference in New York, and I really can tell you a secret. Please don't tell you tell it anybody else. <laughs> that Germany is working on a very, and I think a wonderful and an important initiative to give a lot more support to the United States as far as German language learning is concerned. So um, really, we all have to keep our fingers crossed that this goes through the Bundestag in September, and we are really, we would be happy to get a lot more money than we got before. <laughs> to support programs, especially, and this is really to be underlined, especially in public schools. So the German state is very interested in supporting the German programs, in expanding German programs, in helping German programs, especially in public schools. And I'm really very grateful for that, and I really hope that everything goes fine and we get a lot more money and money makes the world go round, we all know this. <laughs> I don't tell you if they bring you this <laughs> thing here. Yes, coming back to the test, John, thank you for getting the introduction. This test is really um, a very highly elaborated test and, it, and the test, the DSD2, the German Language Diploma Level 2, is um, an especial test and the students really have to have a very high proficiency level in order to pass this test. And when I got the results from Uber Neuhaus class, from you students, I really couldn't believe it. First of all, as John already said it, you are the first and only public school in Georgia to take the test on level two. Maybe you ask why no other public schools. Most programs really stop at the, DS, at the DSD-1 level. I have a couple of public schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, who take the DSD-1, but not the DSD-2. So when I compared the results of Uber's class with my colleagues all over the country, talking about public schools, I realized that Uwe's results, or your results, you are the most important guys here in the, in the room here, your results are the best in the whole country. This is really yeah, amazing. 
and what I saw in the oral exams, and John helped me, and yeah, Uwe necessarily was here. <laughs> what I saw with the presentations, what I heard, it was really amazing. To some of the students, I said, if I close my eyes and I wouldn't know that I'm that I hear Georgia, I would tell you're really native speakers. This was really incredible. So I told my, my colleagues, I have a wonderful public school in my region <laughs> who really made this wonderful job. Thank you to Uwe. You really, you all supported this. Thank you, students. And I have the certificates right here, and I ask you to come forward as far as I ask your names. And I heard that some students are not here, or Kenneth couldn't be here, but the parents are here, or moms or dads are here. So please, for the moms and dads, come forward and get the certificate. I will be pleased to give it to you as well. <laughs> and we, we'd like to embarrass one more person. Um, we, we talked a lot about Uva and Uva's class, but understand this is a long series articulation program. And there are a lot of people from the elementary level to the middle school level to the high school level, parents that gave the support to make this happen. And the middle school teacher, one of the middle school teachers is here in the room tonight, and that's Dogmar Koshka. <laughs> Send these 
certificates to the students. You probably know their addresses. And thank you all for coming here tonight. I really, yeah, I'm just speechless. <laughs> Sarah Hamilton to come up. Sarah Hamilton is a former student um, that took part in this program who, because of her proficiency in German, was offered a, a very rare find, which was a position here at the Goethe Zentrum to be to, to work with the, the folks here that are providing these kinds of cultural experiences. Hi everybody, I wanted to say something real quick to our students tonight of Deutsch. Um, Im Laufe eines typischen Tages koordiniere ich Volontäre, ich übersetze Texte, ich sitze an der Rezeption und ich telefoniere und ich checke E-Mails und ich schreibe zahllose Listen. Ich arbeite mit unseren Sprachkursen, ich spreche mit Schülern und ich habe ein Tagesprogramm unserer, in unserer Weiße Rose Ausstellung für eine Gruppe von Jugendlichen entwickelt und dreimal durchgeführt. Aber warum soll das euch interessieren? Weil ich auch eine von euch bin. Im 2010 habe ich meinen Schulabschluss auch von Schindler Kreis gemacht. Ich habe auch Herr Neuhaus zwei, äh, drei schwierige Jahre lang gehabt und war vorher auch Frau Kelly und Frau Alexander und so weiter. Ich machte in dem Nürnberg Aufschlussprogramm mit und wollte nachher so sehr direkt zurück nach Deutschland fliegen. Deutschland ist, äh, Deutsch ist ein ganz großes Teil meines Lebens geworden und ich bin so froh, dass ich EP Deutsch geschafft habe. Jetzt studiere ich Deutsch und Psychologie an der Davidson College und ich fliege in 25 Tagen nach Berlin, um ein Semester dort zu studieren. Nächste Woche ist meine letzte Woche hier bei dem Goethe-Zentrum. Das ist traurig, aber das ist auch meine letzte Woche, ständig Deutsch sprechen zu müssen, <lacht> Fragen zu stellen und immer Fehler zu machen. Und dann geht es auch nach Deutschland. Ich habe es geschafft, hier mit Erfolg und Spaß als englisch sprechende Praktikanten zu arbeiten. Ihr habt den DSD 2 geschafft und ich bin mir ganz sicher, dass ihr auch so etwas mit Erfolg und Spaß machen könnt. Also jetzt will ich euch bitten, vergesst euer Deutsch nicht, benutzt es oft, genießt es und wisst, dass ihr etwas Besonderes seid. Ich hoffe, dass ihr alle mit eurem Deutsch reifen macht und die Möglichkeit habt, das Beste herauszuholen. Ansonsten will ich euch zu unserem Immersion Tag an, äh, einladen, das ist am 22. September. Und also für alle, die noch in Atlanta sein werden, machen wir ein Programm mit der Alliance Française. Und es geht um einen Film von Fritz Lang namens Metropolis. So viel Spaß machen. Wir sprechen über Metropolen und sein Bein und so. Also. <lacht> Vielen Dank und ich gratuliere euch. the high school teacher, Uwe Neuhaus, to come up to share a few words about the program and to speak to students. Good evening, everybody. My name is Uwe Neuhaus. I've been at Chambly Charter High School for 19 years. Um, I've seen the German program from um, starting with five AP students in 1994 to 52 registered for next year. Wow. Um, I will also teach a, um, the German 3, among other classes, I will teach the German 3 accelerated class, which is the ninth grade class, which prepares the students for AP. There are 35 students signed up for that class. Overall, I have about 145 students uh, my colleague, Alkini Anderson, has um, the same number. We have a third teacher, uh, Ms. Giordano, who teaches three courses at our school. I'm very happy that uh, Dagmar Alexander could be here tonight as a representative of the middle school. Um, <clears throat> I think Mr. Rees and the other speakers here before me made it quite clear that it's very important to start at an early age. The sooner we start, the better it is for the program. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to uh, go to great lengths and reiterate what has already been said. I would just like, from the teacher's perspective, 
tell you about two things that stood out for me this year. Uh, and I tried to do this well without my notes. And as you can see, I have my speech here, but I think I'm a better speaker if I don't read what I've read. So <clears throat> I would like to begin with one student who is present here tonight. Um, this student took, of course, the exam, and she got the highest score of the 19 students who uh, participated. Um, the second highest score was scored by a native speaker, and that is Anna. Anna could not be here tonight. Um, she is a native speaker, her father is German. Um, she, I have known Anna for three, four years. She started, she came to uh, Shambly High School in eighth grade and uh, took a, a class with me that was a very special uh, occasion. Next year, Anna will be my assistant. Uh, she will be in 11th grade and she will be my assistant. But the person I would like to talk to you about is Christina Curlett, who received 91 out of 96 of the possible points. You know that there are four sections on the exam. Each section is worth 24 points. To receive 91 points out of 96 is almost unbelievably good. She is better than the native speaker uh, who received 88 points. So um, that was an ama it's an amazing accomplishment, particularly in the in the written section, which is extremely difficult to write a two-hour, uh, five, six, seven hundred-word essay and receive a perfect score. And I think, oh, Christina, if I'm not mistaken, you received 22 or 23 out of 24, which is absolutely amazing. Christina also, I should say. Uh, participated in the German Olympiad this year and she was chosen uh, among, was, as one of among, uh, tw 12 students in the United States uh, to participate in the German Olympiad, which is a worldwide competition organized by the Goethe Institute and the AATG. And Christina was one of those 12 students chosen in the United States and she and her parents were invited to Chicago last spring, so that was a great accomplishment. Um, yeah, so Christina, once again, that was <laughs> the other student I would like to talk about briefly is, is very. It's a very special situation to me. It's a very special story to me because it goes back several years. The student is not present tonight, but I would like to tell you about McKinley Alden because he represents to me the spirit of this German program more than many, many other students. I had him, I started in, in 10th grade, he took German 4, that was the first year I had him, and he had some personal problems, uh, I think his mother divorced and things like that, so he was determined not to continue with German. He was also not very motivated and dedicated, but I saw the potential in him and I encouraged him over and over again until the very last day he told me, no, I will not continue with German. Then he signed up for AP and he took AP the next year and he was a different student. He was very dedicated. Well, he got a five on the AP exam, perfect score. He continued and he took uh, German 5 literature and this year, or last year I should say, German 5 literature and German 6 at the same time. So he took two German courses, received in both classes high A's, and got I think the second or third highest score on the DSD2 exam. So um, McKinley applied at UGA. UGA has a wonderful German program. He met with the head of the Germanic and Slavic Languages Department, Professor Kage, in June to discuss where he should be, uh, what class he should be taking. And Professor Kage already knew him from our visit when we visited in October, I think it was, when we saw the German band Matzen. We spent an entire day there at UGA. It was a wonderful experience. He met Professor Kage. They met again last June. And Professor Kage and he spoke in German and based on, on his skills in German, Professor Kage suggested that he take the highest class available at UGA, which is 4001 class. So he will be at the very top starting, and that's usually for students in the seventh or eighth semester. 
and this is what he is going to do as a freshman. The question, of course, always comes, you know, what is he going to take next? <laughs> but I believe that um, there are opportunities, ways that students uh, become assistants to professors. Um, so I am absolutely convinced that Mc McKinley will do very, very well. And I think McKinley represents to me, first of all, he's a good friend. Uh, he and I have had many, many conversations. I I've seen him from someone who uh, struggled in the beginning to someone who really achieved what there is to achieve. And I'm, I'm pretty much sure that he will continue to do that. I want to thank all of you that are here and the ones that are not here again for this wonderful year. I think we've had three wonderful years together. Um, I particularly cherish the many wonderful discussions we had, the <laughs> openness that we could share in the classroom. Okay? And uh, I hope that you will come back and share with me how you're doing in college. So thanks again for everything. Thank you, Dr. Atkinson and everybody else who is here for the opportunity to speak Thank to you. to all of the levels of, of support that these students have had and congratulations to the students and thank you very much to um, Chambly High School, Chambly Middle School. I know Assistant Principal Candace Stedman's here and it's, it's through the support of the schools, it's through the support of the schools, it's through the support of um, DeKalb County Schools which has quite frankly one of the best world languages program in the entire state of Georgia, I would argue in the entire southeast that this program exists and that it's supported the way it is. So thank you, Dr. Atkinson, for all of your support. <laughs> thank you to the Good Centrum, thank you to the Consul General and, and the Consulate, and thank you to Wayne Reese for being such a wonderful speaker this evening and to Petra. And go forth, go to Germany, be in Germany every opportunity you have. <laughs> Waste all of your money on tickets. That's the advice. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you Yes, absolutely, and um, we're, we're going to go out for there will be a reception out here, and first we're going to have Dr. Atkinson get a picture with all of our students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.